so I was teaching a class at MIT, and uh, there was another professor who scheduled a makeup session three weeks on top of my class. So eight students came to me and said, look, we don't know what to do. We have your class and we have his class and the makeup session and uh, we don't know what to do. And we asked him if he could schedule at a different time and he said no. He said, you know, his accounting was more important than what I was teaching or whatever it was. Um, so I told the students, you know what, come every Friday, I'll give you, come, they could come for the, the first half of the lecture, leave for the second half, and I'll give it back to you on Friday. So this happened one week, it happened in another week. The third week, we're taking a break, and I walked by this other professor's class, and I just got annoyed, right? My emotions got the best out of me. I said, look at this guy, he's scheduling something so unconsiderate on top of my class. These students have to go, I have to give them again the lecture on Friday. So I walked into his class, he's kind of in the middle of teaching, I walk into him, I'm a second year assistant professor, he has no idea who I am. And I said, Paul, I just want you to realize you scheduled your class over my class, I thought it was very inconsiderate, it's very annoying, but that's it. I told you what I think, this is the end of it. And I walked out, he was confused, he had no idea who I was, what I was talking about, and so on. <clears throat> um, the next thing I get was a call from the dean. <laughs> And, and what he wanted me to do was basically to apologize in front of the whole, of the whole school. And uh, the dean at the time was a very good economist. So I said, look, Dick, you're, you're a good economist. You understand signaling. So think about it. This was a bad incident. I, I agree. There was some issues here. Uh, but what's the chance that anybody will ever schedule their class on top of mine?